lover, this is Heather, and today is a treat. I am going to re-review Catherine by John Renault in the color 1426S10, also known as Shaded Pralines and Cream. By the way, I'm wearing a Milano grip cap. They're very comfortable. Um, I have a sensitive scalp sometimes and doing a lot of these wig reviews, the lace kind of irritates my scalp. If you find yourself in the same boat or you have lupus or something else that would cause your scalp to be kind of easily irritated, this is a really nice little solution for that. But this is more about Catherine. I reviewed Catherine in the past and I've lost a lot of weight since then. So I would like to check her out again. I have not taken this one out of the box. So she's gonna look just like they packaged her. So you can see she's got her hair in it and everything. And I always advise when you order something from any wig store, you do this. You take like a picture of what it looks like when you got it. That way you don't have to memorize some of this intricate packaging stuff. You can just see it and then copy it when you go to send something back. Or for storage. This is really a great way to store your hair too. In fact, I store most of my wigs in their original boxes. So here's the wig. And part of the reason why I wanna go through all of this on camera with you is because Catherine's one of those styles that looks really, really weird when you first put her on. She looks real fake, real costumey, but you gotta play with her. And as you play with her, she comes to life. But it's something that you won't be able to do until you decide you will wanna keep the wig because you definitely do not want to disrupt the curls like I'm gonna show you how to do in this video on a wig that you plan to return because they'll probably reject it. So this is what I mean. See how clumped together all these curls are? Looks real doll-like and fake. Don't worry about it. Um, in fact, this is mine. I'm gonna keep this one because I like her so much and I've wanted one for a while now. I just really like this color. This grip cap works like a charm, by the way. Okay. Go back just a little. Okay, so you can see She's kind of wiggy looking, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take her back off and I'm gonna grab my wide tooth comb here. First thing I'm gonna do, and again, this is a wig I'm keeping. It belongs to me. I'm changing the part. This is an open capped wig with a pre-cut monofilament lace front. It has permatease on the top, so you can park basically anywhere that permatease is gonna show got open wefts on the side and in the back with an extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters. So I'll lift this one all the way up while I'm at it. She fits me a little bit snug, but with this thing on, it helps with that a lot. You saw I was even kind of fighting it to get it in place again because that grip cap's so effective. The first place I'm going to comb out is right here at the nape. And I'm gonna do this while the wig is off my head. And I'm gently combing this out. not really being rough with it. I'm gonna turn her right side in and I'm gonna continue to gently comb her. We can always tell when a wig has been brushed or combed when it's sent back to us, which is why I'm stressing don't try it because we're trained to spot that and we will reject returns that come back combed or brushed. So beautiful curl pattern. You can see it really relaxed. It's really coming to life. And doesn't that look like a thousand times better? Okay, now I'm gonna put her back on and then we'll do a little bit more styling. But this is one that once, once you play with her a little, she's really cute. Let me check myself out in the mirror because I want to see if um, you're getting a good view of the back of the wig now that's kind of broken up. is a great wig and she looks really cute with a headband looks very 80s chic with the headband there 
And then if you have the same coverage issues I do, where the wigs don't always come all the way down on the side, you know, I have an average large cap size, it comes with the territory when I'm wearing average size wigs. I try to make sure I get rooted colors. So it just looks like that's a continuation of my hair growth. And if you're really concerned about it, just pull a couple tendrils loose here on the sides and they're hidden. So I'm Heather, I'm from sisterwigs.com, that's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com, and this has been a second look at the beautiful Catherine from John Renault in the color 1426S10. I like to revisit some of these, you know, older styles once in a while, just because I feel like a lot of attention gets paid to the new stuff when it's released, but some of these things that came out a couple years ago are not only not on chronic back order most of the time, <laughs> just saying, but they are also really darling and still worth checking out. And the fact that you have a better chance of getting one of these and not having to wait for it, you know, the fact that that's so much more improved makes them definitely worth taking a look at. I'm Heather. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye-bye.